Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Laguerre Differential Equation. The Laguerre Differential Equation has the form x y double prime plus 1 minus x y prime plus alpha y is equal to 0. And so for this ODE, we can see that x equals 0 is a regular singular point. x equals 0 is a regular singular point. And so we can write down the initial equation for this problem. And so what's the initial equation? It is c, c minus 1. And I have to figure out the p0 term. So if I divide by x, I'm going to have a 1 over x minus 1. So the p0 is equal to 1 because it's, a one over, it's the coefficient of 1 over x. So that's just going to be a c term over there. And then what's the q0 term, the coefficient of 1 over x squared? Well, there is no 1 over x squared, so that's 0. So this is equal to 0. So my equation becomes c squared is 0. Therefore, c is equal to 0 is the only solution of our initial equation. So we can look for solutions of the form y is equal to the sum. n goes from 0 to infinity of a n x to the n plus 0. So that's just a standard Taylor expansion. And so uh, therefore, y prime is going to be the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of n a n x to the n minus 1 and y double prime, keeping with our convention that we are going to every, keep everything start, every series started at 0 and then shift later. And then I'm going to have an n times n minus 1 times a n times x to the n minus 2. So those are my y, y prime, and y double prime. We're going to plug them into the ODE and see what we get. Plugging into the ODE. And let's gather the terms efficiently, right? So this term over here is going to have powers of x to the n. So if I hit an x with y double prime, and we have an n minus 1 term over here. If I have a 1 times y prime, I will also have an n minus 1 term over there. So let's group those first two terms together. Those first two terms group and give me the sum n goes from 0 to infinity, of x times y double prime is going to have what form? It's going to have an n, and then an n minus 1. And then the y prime is just going to have an n over here, so plus n, a n, x to the n minus 1. And then we'll, I'll pull that negative sign over here, so negative the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity. And I have x, y prime, so that's just going to be an n. And then a positive alpha is going to turn to a negative alpha, and those are hit with the a, n, x, n is equal to 0. Excellent. So that's my recursion relationship. And so now this, the standard things we want to get every, every exponent to have an n minus 1 in it, the lowest exponent we see. And so we can easily accomplish that by doing what? By subtracting 1 over here. So if I do n equals 1, that's going to turn into an n minus 1, and that's going to turn into an n minus 1, and therefore we get our recursion. So I add 1 over here, I subtract 1 over there. So what's our recursion going to be? Now look at this over here. This is going to be n squared minus n plus n. That's really just nothing more than just n squared over there. Great. So now our recursion is going to be n squared a n is equal to, throwing on the other side, n minus 1 minus alpha, n minus 1 minus alpha, a n minus 1. Okay? For n bigger than or equal to 1. And therefore we have what? Therefore we have a recursion a n is equal to n minus 1 minus alpha a n minus 1 over, over what? Over n squared. And we can easily solve this recursion, right? This recursion, if I iterate this over and over and over again, this recursion relates to just what? This will relate to a negative alpha n a, a 0 over n factorial squared. And now, of course, what's this? What's this? This is a, our ascending factorial over here. So this factorial thing mean? What does this mean? What does what does alpha n mean? It means for any alpha, this means alpha times alpha plus one times alpha plus n minus one. And that's exactly the form we have over here, right? So that's exactly this ascending factorial over here. Good. And so now we have a solution to the differential equation. We can just sum this up and get one solution of our Laguerre differential equation. This one will go on forever. So the solution to this problem over here is going to be y1 is just going to be a0. The sum n goes from 0 to infinity of negative alpha n x to the n over n factorial quantity squared. And that is the first solution of the Laguerre 
ODE. Now, I can notice that since I have a negative alpha over here, I'm gonna have lots of negatives over here, and I can actually get this to terminate over here. So, what we can notice is that, let's choose, let me write this in the following way, let's change the index of notation, so if I write y, one is equal to a zero, the sum, k goes from zero to infinity, negative alpha k, I'm just gonna change this to a dummy index, x to the k over k factorial squared, now, what can happen is if I choose alpha to be equal to n, so if alpha equals n, just a natural number, like that, a whole number, then what can I say about negative alpha, negative alpha k? Negative alpha k is gonna be negative alpha, and then negative alpha plus one, negative alpha plus k minus one. But now alpha is equal to n, right? So this is negative n, this is negative n plus one, this is negative n plus k minus one. And so we see over here that if k is equal to n plus one, so if k is equal to n plus one, then this term over here will turn into a zero, right? And so if alpha is equal to n, then terms in the series past k plus one are zero. So if alpha is equal to n, then your solution y is equal to what? Is equal to a zero, the sum k goes from zero up to n of what? Of now I have a negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one k times, right? So that's gonna be a negative one to the k and then I have an n, and then an n minus one, down to n minus k plus one, x to the power k, all divided by k factorial quantity squared, right? And so now what I can do is I can actually write that as n factorial, and so we're gonna write this in the following way, we're gonna write this as, I'm gonna choose a zero to be equal to one, so if a zero is chosen, it's an arbitrary constant, I'm gonna choose a zero to be equal to one, and if I do so, I will conclude that y, I'm gonna call this yn, or let's actually call this Let's change this notation over here. I'm going to call this over here L sub n. So L sub n, L sub n of x is the sum. K goes from 0 up to n, negative 1 to the k. And then I'm going to put an n factorial up here. I still have k factorial squared in the denominator. But now I have what? But now I have extra n minus k factorial. So I have an n minus k factorial, x to the k. And that is a polynomial of degree n, and these polynomials are called the Laguerre polynomials. So these are the Laguerre polynomials. And we will study special properties of these Laguerre polynomials in further videos. In particular, I'd like to prove the Rodriguez formula that allows me to, to prove these Laguerre polynomials are actually form an orthogonal set with respect to a certain weight in a certain integral. Thank you very much.